I took the subway to Hollywood for a film festival screening at the Chinese Theater. And I was about an hour early, so I decided to take a walk to kill the time. I wasn't paying much attention to my surroundings until I noticed the area around me started to look a little sketchy. Then, all of a sudden, three young, tough-looking dudes with facial tattoos stop me and surround me against a wall. Then the wildest, the biggest, the meanest one steps up to me and says, Can we play with your kendama? And that's what we did. We connected. We had some fun. And in the end, we departed with fist bumps. They did not kill or rob me. And I'm alive to tell the tale of my first year playing Kendama. Last year, I was in San Francisco, Japan town during the Cherry Blossom Festival. I randomly ran into a skill toy competition. All sorts of people, mostly grown adults, playing with kendama and taking it very seriously. They were intense. They had their own language, their own little world. Interesting subculture. I picked up a kendama at the local store and just started. I remember more than 20 years ago, I visited Japan and purchased a kendama. At the time, it was a relatively crude toy, but I soon discovered in the last 15 years it had evolved into a high-performance device. A blend of design, balance, weight distribution, paint and wood type, perfected by a handful of kendama makers. It is undeniable that these wooden toys can be considered works of art. It's not about being the best. There are nine-year-olds who can kendama circles around me. It's about doing it, challenging myself, and having fun. The first few moves on a kendama can be easy and can be learned in less than an hour. Then it gets exponentially more difficult with pull-up tricks and stall tricks, the lighthouse, lunar, lunar flip, lighthouse flip, juggle, bird, bird over the valley, just to name a few. I can kendama anywhere, on the sidewalk, in a parking lot, at a cafe, waiting in line at the supermarket. Everything stops, except for the kendama. Focus, gravity, honing my movements. I don't think about the news or about any of my worries. The only thing in my mind is landing the trick. I get reactions. Some are fascinated. Some people think it's cool. Some people look at me disapprovingly. Adults shouldn't play with toys. Adults should be staring at their smartphones. Now, Studio City is a stressful environment. I've seen people lose it over the wrong steamed milk in their Starbucks order. I think people would be less stressed if they picked up one. And me? I'm gonna keep playing. You're playing with gravity. You're training your body. The more work you put into it, the better you get. And it's fun, sometimes frustrating. So many tricks and challenges. And sometimes I have to try them over and over and over and over and over again. Day after day after day until... 